I've been involved in the cotton industry for since about 1996. Joined uh, Cotton Seed Distributors around about nine years ago. My role is primarily based with talking to growers. Um, firstly, there's a, a bit of a sales role in terms of the, the cotton seed and support of that, but you know, also we do a lot of other work in terms of trying to work out how to grow this crop better um, and try and you know, boost production. In terms of developing a good relationship with growers, I think it's just one of those things that you build up over time. And the messages you put out there, they have to be consistent and you know, hopefully work. Research and development in the cotton industry has always been fairly strong from the initial origins of the industry in Australia. We present a lot of information to the growers and hopefully we try and do that in a lot of different formats. You know, if we're going to go out and take the measurements, we're going to make sure that people know about them because otherwise we might as well not go out and take them. So you can find inspiration in a lot of different things. But you know, if people are out there trying to improve or you know, make things better or you know, make their production better, that, that really inspires me a lot. I came to work in nematodes, well actually I have a masters in, nem in nematology looking at biocontrol of root knot nematode and that's how I started in the department. I really have quite a passion for biocontrol. We did the surveys in November 2012 and we went out straight after harvest and had the entire Theodore region sampled and we knew the numbers of reniform, the population in every field within three months. It was just the four of us, our team, and we worked very, very hard. The area that was impacted is, is the entire Theodore region. We sampled 3,000 hectares of fields. Not every field has reniform, but most growers have reniform. We have recorded 30-40% uh, yield loss in fields, so it is a significant loss. We all realise the importance of getting into the fields in a timely manner and the whole community has been 100% supportive, responsive, they're wonderful people. We feel like we belong to the community now. Post Harvest Fibre Group provides a connection between the grower and the spinning mill. Rene van der Sluis has been central to the formation of a ginning BMP audit system. As well as that, we have done quite a lot of work in trying to preserve the fibre quality. Preservation of the quality in the gin means monitoring and managing the link cleaning settings, the gin stand, the seed roll settings, moisture management, and integrating all these into the benefit for the fibre. It's a great thing for us to write a proposal, prove it in prototype, and then have it commercialised so that the industry can use it. I mean, I really appreciate the support of the post-harvest team and, in fact, the whole CSIRO and the industry cotton research teams. Uh, they really are very supportive in terms of their mentorship and the licence that they've given the researchers that do your work for you.